Hi everybody, it's the Five Bias Sisters and we are at the Tracy Aviary and we're going to take a behind the scenes tour pretty soon. So, stay. Bye! Say bye! Bye! <laughs> we're gonna feed the birds. <laughs> but they said they might go on your head and I don't want it to go on my head. I don't want it to go on my head. Me either. There's only one adaptation that they have not yet developed, and that is the ability to survive after ingesting a poison crab. It's a very big deal. Uh, he made that if beauty was a contest, the macaws would win with flying colors. Uh, so enjoy it. Uh, it's a little bit warm out here, so we're going to give you guys some natural air conditioning of having Russo flying right over your heads. You feel the breeze? For the record, you guys, he's for a macaw. Which brings me to my next point. Uh, so. How many people think that having a <laughs> Thank you, you guys, that was perfect. So Jordan, I want you to meet my friend Sydney. Sydney, this is Jordan, he'll be meeting you today. Uh, so Sydney is an email. Some of you are looking a little bit relieved that Sydney didn't come flying out over your heads just now. Uh, no, they don't fly. His wings are a little bit too small for that. Uh, but what he lacks in his uh, flying ability, he definitely makes up for with his ability to run on the ground. Now, Jordan, what do you think of those dinosaur legs? You got quite a pair, huh? So, emus have been known to run at speeds of 35 miles per hour when they have to, if they find themselves in a situation where there's a predator nearby, like a bunch of wild dogs called dingoes in the Australian outback. And as Grunt is ready, that box will be opening. Here she is, Grunt, our king vulture. Wait for it, here she comes gliding on down right over the trees, right over my head, and onto the wall. That's that. I want you guys to look for something in particular. Watch when she flies. Although she's all dark, do you guys still see that silver lining? She's got a silver lining on her wings. Popping up right over there. This is Zelda, our wreathed hornbill. Check this out. 
<laughs> never, <laughs> never gets old for me. Nothing. I know. Look at that. Uh, so, number one uh, tool for getting their food. Uh, so, they are very, very strong. Uh, that beak is strong enough, it can crack through the shell of a tortoise in one blow. It's also precise enough to pick up these small little things, whether it's a worm or an insect or a jelly bean. So, like I said, this is the bird I warned you guys about. All the food completely hidden. birds over here and there's these birds over here they have an egg. They have an egg. It's cool. And when you walk in here it's like really humid. It feels like really you're in the rainforest. It's hot. It's cool. Awesome. They're just like birds flying around. They're just flying around. And we're in the rainforest. Mm -hmm. So this is a spectacle owl. He's right there. He's kind of giving us a dirty look. He's like, okay, don't film me. She's like, so cool. Here's another one. There's the other one over here. <laughs> See, they don't want us to stop. And then they'll lay eggs. And they're on the eggs that last like five to seven days, and then they continue to be Did you hear the instructions, what she said to do with them? Go we'll find a plant that needs some okay. help from the ladybug. In this little cup, and we're going to throw them into the plants plant. to help the plants. So they have insects. You really want to open it? I don't want to put the cream all over me. Okay, we're going to open it. Nisha went in the water, they would be as big as her. Something I learned today is you should not feed bread to birds or ducks because it pollutes the water. Something else you can feed them is corn or lettuce. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Also, don't forget to click the information button at the top to watch our last video. Bye! Focus is...